Rusty Cage. Hi friends. Hi friends. We're gonna read this book today. We match on the inside. We it's match a, on the inside. Yeah, it's a very nice book. And if you have an adopted sibling or you're adopted yourself like Isaac, you'll really like this book, okay? So so what what do we have to do? Like and subscribe our video! video. video. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe our video. We have tons of videos. Yes. Even with me going to Texas all by myself. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get started. Anaya and her parents are alike in many ways. Anaya has brown eyes like her dad and long straight hair like her mom. She and dad are toy collectors. When mom sees Anaya's room cluttered with displayed toy horses, she says, you are just like your father, with an exaggerated sigh. <sighs> Anaya and mom love singing silly songs, but they cannot carry a tune. I live with a pack of hyenas, dad exclaims, plugging his ears as they sing at the top of their lungs. Anaya and her parents are also different in some ways. Anaya and her parents have skin that changes when they spend time in the sun. But no matter how they try, mom and dad's skin turns pink while Anaya's turns brown. Anaya knows she belongs to her parents and they belong to her, but sometimes other people get confused. Where's your mom? The lady at the store asks, even though mom is standing right next to her. That's my dad, Anaya has to explain to her counselor when he picks her up from the day camp. Why is it so hard for people to see that we are a family? Anaya asked mom one day. I think it's because we match on the inside, but not on the outside, mom suggested. Anaya gets a lot of questions about her family. Sometimes it is hard to know how to answer people's questions. So Anaya's parents helped her work out some different ways to answer these questions. You can choose how to answer people's questions according to how you feel that day or based on what kind of relationship you have with the person asking. You can even choose not to answer the questions at all. Just make sure that your response is loving, Dad explained. Dad plopped a magician's hat on Anaya's head. If you don't feel like answering someone's question, you can play the role of a magician. Magicians are masters of distraction, so when you play magician, you can avoid answering questions by changing the subject. Then he took off the magician's hat and handed Anaya a whoopee cushion. Sit on it, he said. Anaya sat down. The cushion made a loud farting sound. Anaya giggled. Comedians make people laugh. Instead of answering the question directly, you can make a joke about it. Mom slipped a pair of fake glasses onto Anaya's nose. If you feel like helping people understand about your life and your family, you can play the role of a teacher. This is often the most useful response, but it also takes time and patience because there is a lot people don't know about adoption. Equipped with these three roles she could play, Anaya felt ready to face the questions. One day after school, Anaya ran to her mom and gave her a hug. Then she returned to her friend to say goodbye. That's your mom? Sahil asked. Anaya was ready to go home. She didn't want to spend time explaining. She decided to play the comedian. Who, her? Nah, she just looked like she needed a hug. Everybody needs a good hug from time to time. Sahil looked at her confused. Just kidding. Of course she's my mom. See you tomorrow, Anaya called as she grabbed her backpack and ran off. On another day, Anaya's classmate Jamie asked, Who are your real parents? Anaya didn't feel like explaining that mom and dad were her real parents, even if they looked different from her, so she decided to play the magician. Hey look, what card Sahil traded with me? Now I have the whole set. Distracted by the cards, Jamie started telling Anaya about all the cards he still wanted to add to his collection. During a play day, Anaya's best friend, Tisha, asked, Why don't your parents look like you? 
Anaya knew Tisha wanted to understand her story and she was ready to answer. She decided to play the role of teacher. I was adopted. That's why I was born in a different country and do not look the same as my parents. What is adopted? Tisha asked. Adoption is when a mom and dad have a baby, but different mom and dad raise the baby. My birth parents gave me life, and my adoptive parents take care of me and are my family forever. Tisha thought about this for a moment. Why didn't your parents who had you kept you? She asked quietly. My birth parents weren't able to raise me, but they wanted me to be safe and happy, so they decided to allow another mom and dad to become my parents, Anaya explained. My parents say I was the best gift anyone could ever give to them, and we love each other exactly the same as if I was born from my mom's tummy. We might not match on the outside, but we are a perfect match on the inside. The end. The end. Did you like the book, Isaac? Ishmael, did you like the book? Yeah. 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 We liked the book. It was a fun book. Friends, adoption story is every person has a very unique adoption yeah. story. Yes. And yeah. it's up to you what you want to share, what you don't want to share, and how you want to share. So you can be a comedian, you can be a magician, you can be a teacher. Right, Ishmael? Yeah. Right, Isaac? And you, you, you have your choice to share and how much you want to share, it's up to you, okay? So it, it, you can decide how you want to uh, tell people about your story, but as long as your response is nice, as long as you're polite and gentle with people, that is all good, okay? So you, you don't have to tell everything if you don't feel like telling them everything. If you want to educate them, you can certainly tell them about your story, about your sibling story, a little bit, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, you can tell them. Okay, friends, do like and subscribe our video yeah. and uh we'll talk to you guys soon okay bye bye, bye. bye. see you next time